So hacking has been an issue um, that has affected the world of media and technology that we live in and has it advanced um, in today. And just like the devices we use and have continued to develop, so does the concept of hacking. Um, and there's people in places like Russia and India across the world that will target people in America like us and have incentive to steal your identity, uh, steal your personal information, steal all the stuff that you put on social media that you never think will actually end up uh, getting out there in an unsafe environment for the worse of you and the betterment of someone else. Yet it happens every day, all day, and there's always new ways of developing new hacking devices um, for the new you know, trends and technical media devices that we use. Um, and the reason they, they, these people do this is because they make so much money off, you know, stealing your identity and all this personal information that evidently harms you and only helps them. Um, and that's why this hacking corporation and enterprise has continued to grow over the years and throughout all over the world um, because of the media we use um, and because they are not stopped. And I don't know if they will be stopped but there's only us to help each other um, crack down on, on this hacking activity. And it's what makes us vulnerable to the media uh, and our personal lives and info that we put into it. Um, and there's people of all stature that we see and all different types of power that have been hacked and can be hacked. You know, there's no um, way of knowing or, or no uh, accounts that can't be because we see celebrities you know, every day someone's getting hacked um, and their their information is being leaked. So there, there's no state of power in which um, someone can't be hacked, which makes things even crazier um, and in ways where we need to help each other out. Um, and ways to prevent hacking include, you know, making your passwords more secure, um, something someone might not guess or, or may be as easy to guess, um, or using a password manager for your computers um, you know, helping out with not making sure your password is so evident so that anyone could just guess it and log on, um, which is very important because your password is what sets you up with all these accounts and what keeps you secure from these hackers getting in. Um, and change your security passwords too. You know, everything has passwords and even, you know, if it, if it takes two passwords instead of one, sometimes devices have these security passwords um, that might be the benefactor for you to keep safe for your personal information. Um, and also to protect your Wi-Fi from hacking because anything could be hacked from Wi-Fi to social media devices, um, anything technological, there will always be a way for people to try to hack it and get into your information. Um, so it's the little things too that matter to always keep uh, an eye out for. Um, and this has to do with the cloud, you know, iCloud and whatnot where all this is stored. Um, to not put such sensitive data on it so that, you know, with the worst comes to worst, there's not too much data that they can steal from you that um, could affect you. Um, and, you know, there's also for security purposes throughout passwords, there's also questions. So, you know, use creative questions that only you personally can answer so that, you know, even someone like a hacker who has all this knowledge and, and resources cannot still log on. And these are ways, you know, who hopefully we could build and help each other um, end the hacking revelation um, because it is very excessive and it doesn't work out for anyone except these evil people who think they benefit from stealing people's identity.